Hey guys, and welcome back to the Made It For May May series. This is a series of videos where seven of my YouTube friends have created great tutorials and videos for you guys to give me a little holiday vacation and allow you to meet a new YouTuber you may not be aware of. Today's video is brought to you by Stacy Williams of Love That Bug. Now, Stacy does everything from cricket tutorials to toddler tutorials to 3D projects, everything you can imagine where paper is concerned. She even does some home tours and she's done a tour of her craft room if you're interested in seeing that. Today, Stacy brings you a wonderful video, and I'm so thankful that you're doing this for me, Stacy. I really appreciate it. You guys be sure to go and subscribe to Stacy. There'll be a link in the description box below. You won't be sorry. You will love everything she creates. Um, without further ado, here's Stacy. Hi, everyone. This is Stacy. Today, I'm actually on May May's channel, taking part in the Made It For May May series and giving her a well-deserved break all week long. Today, I want to share with you this really fun and easy treat holder. I have M&Ms hanging in there, as you can see. Very easy to do. So the first thing you need is a piece of cardstock. This is three inches by 11. You want to bring out a scoring tool. If you don't have a scoring tool, you can just use a bone folder and a ruler. Three inches by 11, we have the 11 side over here. You're going to score this first at four inches, then six, and then at 10. So you can make four of these out of one sheet of 12 by 12 paper. All right, grab your bone folder and just go ahead and crisp all those score marks that we just made. There we have the actual holder. How fun is that? All right, now we're going to do a little bit of stamping. I just have a piece of white cardstock here, and I'm using an older stamp set from Stampin' Up. This is called Mingle All the Way. I'm using the one that says Mingle All the Way, and I'm using Elegant Eggplant ink to match my cardstock. But you, like I said, you can change up the greeting and make it for any occasion you want. You can do birthday, you know, just for you, all kinds of things you can change. All right, I'm inking this up. I'm just going to stamp that down. We're done with the ink. I'm going to grab you a two inch circle punch and punch this out. If you don't have punches or don't like them, you can certainly use a die cutting machine if you want to. All right, now I'm going to take this really pretty glitter paper and my two and three eighth inch circle punch. And again, you can do all this or duplicate all this in the Cricut machine or the Cameo, whatever die cutting machine you have. We're going to flip this over. We're going to grab some dimensionals. I'm going to use four, four on the back of this one. Right, and give them a good little squish. Take these off, the backing off of this. And we're going to hear that down to that pretty sparkly layer. Just like that. All right, we can set that aside. Now we want to make our closure for our, our little bag. So if you have it like that with the flap facing you, we want to put ribbon on that piece here. So how I do it, I just have this 5 8 inch ribbon. I believe I got this from Walmart. I'm going to cut just a little chunk off, flip it over to right now the short flap facing me and then put your ribbon under that. And then take this and then try to tie a bow. get it started. You want it to be nice and taut, but not too tight to where you tear your cardstock. Make a loop. Bring this one around. And bring that through. And we can always adjust our bow when we're done. Just pull these out. I tend to start with a smaller bow, then as I tighten my bow it gets a little bit larger. Okay, I like the way that looks. I'm going to get and trim down here a little bit. Okay. All right, now for our goodies on the inside, I just have, it looks like this, the M&M's. They were the fun size M&M's, and I think any kind of candy would be fine. Now to attach this to that, we're going to be using a glue dot. I have these jumbo size glue dots. I'm going to peel one off, put it on the back of these M&M's. I'm going to place the top of the M&M right at that score mark there. Okay, just like that. So they're going to hang there nice and secure. Now I want to close this. Now if you want to, you can always go in there without before you do the ribbon and staple that on there, that ribbon. But with me, when I make a treat holder like this, I don't like making it where you have to tear it apart to open it. So we're just going to use another glue dot here. 
I'm going to stretch the glue down out a little bit so I'm able to cover or go on my cardstock and also kind of stretch it over my ribbon as well. So bring my ribbon down towards in the middle, take my glue dot and bring it over. So you see how I did that with the glue dot there? That way it kind of holds the ribbon in place as well. And I'm first going to take my finger and just kind of press on the glue dot a little bit so it's not as sticky. This way it's not, again, it won't ruin our little package. Okay, so now we can just go ahead and bring this up and then bring this down and then just give it a little squish there in the front. Okay, All right now we're just going to add this little guy. Just put some glue in the back, any glue you like. I'm using the Art Glitter Glue, which by the way, you can find in Maymay's store. All right, and plop that on the front. How cute is that? And so simple. Like I said, it's only one piece of 3 by 11 cardstock, so you you're very easily can make um, four of them with one 12 by 12. Any questions at all, guys, please let me know. Uh, May May, thanks for having me take part in this fun series, Made It for May May. As always, thanks so much for watching. Have a great day, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.